Interpersonal skills are essential for any manager who deals with people. While we all have some natural skills, it is important to recognize that interpersonal skills can be learned. Each manager should take stock of their skills and determine their strengths and weaknesses. Strengths can be developed. Weaknesses can be overcome through training and work experience. This program will focus on four important interpersonal skills. How to give negative feedback to a coworker or subordinate. Active listening skill. How to be assertive and negotiating skill. Giving feedback to another person is one of the most important uh, aspects of communication between a manager and a subordinate. Or it could be between two coworkers who are working together on a project. The idea of giving feedback is that uh, a person knows how they can uh, improve their performance by receiving feedback on the performance that they have given. And uh, feedback occurs in several different contexts. The most uh, typical context is the performance review interview. The performance review interview is typically administered once a year, although in some cases it can be uh, more frequent. And uh, another typical way that feedback is given is on a day-to-day -day basis when a manager or coworker uh, seeks to uh, let a person know how they're doing so they can improve their uh, performance um, in a timely manner. Typically, uh, the best way to administer feedback to a person about their performance is to provide support for your uh, evaluation. And uh, in this particular case, I'm talking about negative feedback. Of course, a person is pleased to receive positive feedback and encouragement. But it's uh, much more sensitive when the feedback is negative. So the idea of providing support uh, really means providing uh, evidence or objective um, uh, facts that a person can understand and relate to uh, personally. So the kind of evidence you might want to provide is um, examples of behavior that were ineffective or need to be improved, or a description of a situation in which the person was involved in, in which their performance uh, was central. And by describing the situation, the person then understands their behavior more clearly. And then by comparing that to a standard. The standard can be the standard of acceptable performance, or the standard can be the standard of excellence that you're striving to uh, motivate the person to achieve. In administering uh, feedback to a, an individual, it's important to keep uh, your tone impersonal. And by that, I don't mean cold, or I don't mean distant. What I mean is objective. In other words, as I said earlier, it's great when we receive positive feedback and our performance is uh, praised. On the other hand, when we're uh, getting negative feedback, we may react uh, in a way that is um, um, difficult in terms of understanding the communication we're receiving. So by uh, impersonal, I mean objective with an even tone of voice and especially to uh, step away from any personal relationship you may have with an individual or any friendships you may have with an individual in terms of um, uh, coloring the uh, uh, feedback you're giving uh, incorrectly. Uh, so um, be sure to um, distance yourself in terms of being objective. In terms of uh, communicating feedback to an individual, we need to uh, make sure that the uh, person understands the communication. And uh, this is important for any number of different reasons. First of all, uh, the communication may be problematic just in terms of uh, the language or the uh, lack of uh, comprehension. But uh, much more importantly is the, the way a person normally will react when they receive feedback. In other words, uh, a person may be defensive. In other words, they're not going to really be ready to face up to the feedback they're getting. Or a person may get angry. And uh, once a person gets angry, 
it's very difficult for them to understand what you're saying. And then the uh, most common problem is a person may not listen to you. A person who doesn't listen cannot receive your communication and will not understand uh, the message that they have been given in terms of what, it, what they have done in terms of their performance and what it's going to take to improve their performance. One thing you can do is to ask a person to summarize their understanding of what you have communicated to them. If during the summary you realize that they really aren't talking about the same thing that you were talking to them about, you need to uh, continue the conversation until the point where you think that they really have understood the message. One tip in terms of uh, giving performance review and performance feedback is to criticize controllable behaviors. By that I mean uh, sometimes uh, performance is uh, due to things that are out of a person's control. And that may occur due to companies uh, changing their priorities. It may occur because of uh, politics, or it may occur because um, of other external events that were out of the individual's control. So those kinds of performance behaviors, uh, whereas they may have been uh, disappointing, aren't things that a person can improve upon. So try to uh, criticize and evaluate performance uh, that is controllable by the individual, and that way they'll be able to make improvements. Well, the final tip that I'm going to give you about giving feedback is to be tactful. This is often very difficult. And in the context of giving performance review information, what I mean is that we need to understand that a person will be very pleased to receive positive information, may be very disappointed or even upset to receive negative information. The rule of thumb is to administer positive uh, feedback first in an interaction with another person. In other words, uh, there's usually a lot of uh, good things that a person has done and is uh, part of their performance, and it's good to start off with some positive uh, feedback before getting into the uh, negative uh, issue that you need to discuss with them. And uh, recognize that people are different. And each person is going to react differently to a feedback situation. Some people will be very pleased to receive uh, feedback in order to use that information to improve their performance. Other people will react uh, uh, with much more sensitivity or even defensiveness. And you, then you need to really make the effort to be tactful. At the same time, make sure they understand the uh, performance message that you are sending to them. Anthony Valdez is a sales representative for the Typhon Steel Corporation, a distributor of steel sheets and steel girders. Typhon Steel sells predominantly to construction companies. Anthony has worked for Typhon Steel for several years. Last year, Typhon Steel sales reached 25 million. Anthony's sales manager is Nate McNiff. Anthony has been trying for one year to get Suffolk Construction's business. Suffolk was taking bids on steel girders. He submitted a bid that was below the company's cost for the product. This was a violation of company policy. He did this because he thought it was a way to get his foot in the door at Suffolk Construction. Nate admires Anthony's initiative. However, when he received a sales analysis report, that showed a loss on Suffolk Construction's account, he felt that he had to enforce company policy. He will be held responsible for this loss and any future losses that may occur. Hi, Anthony. Thanks for coming in today. How you doing, sir? How you been? Good. I've been really good. How are you? I'm um, feeling great, actually. Excellent. Well, you know, I, look, I was looking over the sales reports the other day, mm -hmm. and you're doing really well. I just want to say that, you know, first and foremost. Yep. You've always been really good at bringing in hard to, hard to get deals, you know, mm -hmm. communicating with those companies that other salespeople can't quite seem to get a foothold in. Okay. Uh, and one of them is Suffolk Construction. Okay. I saw that you landed a deal with them on the 23rd, which is great, but you, uh, you took the deal at a loss to the company. Yeah. And, you know, we have, we have a policy in place that we don't make sales that are at a loss. Okay. So I understand you know, that was one of those tough to get deals and you might have felt you had to jump through a couple of hoops to get that deal, but mm -hmm. you always got to clear it with me as your sales manager for that. Yeah. So I was wondering if you could comment on that for me. Well, um, 
we've been trying to catch you know uh, an account with with Suffolk for about 12 months and at that time I saw an opportunity to do so and you know it's competitive bidding so there's a comp you know a lot of companies making these bids and I made a bid for 30,000 and at the time I wasn't thinking of the policy I made a bid for the for a low bid even though it was to the a loss towards the company um, I knew that no other company could match that and, and by doing so we, we caught the account with, with Suffolk construction so I, I wasn't really thinking of the policy at that time I apologize but I was just trying to catch that deal with, with Suffolk and we got it. You know we did get him and, and that is good mm -hmm. um, However, we have we have policy in place for a reason. Yep. And you know, there's a hierarchy in order. You know, you report to me, I report to other people. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is I didn't know about that loss oh, okay. until I was looking at the sales reports. Yes. You know, you should have authorized it with me, or you at the very least should have told me about it. You know, directly after making the deal, mm -hmm. um, because that could have come that that could have looked very bad on me if my bosses had asked about it and I hadn't known about it. Yep. It would look you know bad for me, bad for our sales yeah. team. Yeah. So in the future. If you're gonna if you're gonna go through those lengths to get that deal, you just you have to make sure that I I'm well aware of it beforehand and I have to authorize it. Oh, okay, I, I apologize. I, I I realized I didn't seek your authorization, but it, it was just the spur of the moment thing. And I seen the opportunity, yeah. and I apologize. That happens. We're, sure. we're in a competitive business, so I understand that. Oh, okay. So just so I know that we're on the same page, could you just you know summarize what we've been talking about a little bit today? Well, basically, company policy is we don't we don't sell at a loss, mm -hmm. and uh, if I'm going to you know, sell at a loss, even to catch a big fish like Suffolk, um, to make sure I, I seek authorization. And I apologize for not doing so. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, you're, you're, a, you're a very good salesperson. Mm -hmm. This is the first time, you know, we've ever had to have a talk like this. Yep. So, you know, keep up the good work and just keep company policy in mind, all right? All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Yep. Thanks.